明天，奥巴马总统将发表年度国情咨文，这不仅揭露奥巴马总统剩下来任期的政策方向，更重要的是一种决心，是一种姿态。究竟明晚国情咨文的看点在哪里？来听听闭关准备国情咨文的奥巴马总统怎么说。After the sixth time, I suspect that I'm a little more relaxed and a little better at it than I was the first time out. But you never get completely used to it. There's a certain pageantry to it. Sergeant Arms announces you, and you're walking down that aisle, and you're reminded of the incredible privilege that you have. 国情咨文相当于美国总统的年度演说，除了市场华丽的政治集会，熟悉政治运作的资深媒体记者都知道。国情咨文有一项不能被报道的默契，那就是某一位重要成员会在国情咨文期间被秘密藏起来，以应付内阁成员、参众议员、联邦法院大法官与参谋首长联席会议成员等这些美国最重要政府与军事要员共聚一堂听演说。一旦遭遇不测，可以有人出来主持大局。这样的聚会更可以说是美国年度的政界最重要机会。对奥巴马总统来说，抛开初就任时美国经济掉入泥淖，现在总统说，希望大家能往前看。And so we are well positioned for the future, but the key is making the right choices. And so you know, this State of the Union gives me an opportunity to present to the American people now that we have. Fought our way through the crisis. How do we make sure that everybody in this country? How do we make sure that they're sharing in this growing economy? How do we make sure that they have the tools to succeed? 除了移民与外交，奥巴马在这段国情咨文前的访谈中，并不会言读社区大学免费将会是他想要端出的政策牛肉。In addition to major initiatives around immigration, around Cuba, around climate change. When it comes to dealing with bread and butter issues for middle-class families all across America, we put forward proposals for making community college free, so that young people can access the education that they need. 另外，网络安全也将是国情咨文瞩目的焦点。We're working together with the private sector to increase internet access for communities that feel left out, to increase competition, and to protect our privacy and our security. 而美国总统在国情咨文中所揭露的，绝不止任期中的政策方向，更重要的会是一种决心，是一种姿态。明晚东岸时间九点，美西时间六点，奥巴马将在国会发表年度国情咨文。明天的晚间新闻将与您一起关心。